Reading titled Leave a Little Behind was written by John Blaze. Pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, and occasionally a half dollar. That's what you'd find in the nightstand beside his bed. He'd empty his pockets each evening and leave the contents there, for he knew eventually they'd come to visit. They being his grandchildren. Over the years, the kids learned to visit his nightstand as soon as they arrived. He could have put all that spare change in a coin bank or even stored it away in a savings account. But he didn't. He delighted in leaving it there for the little ones, the precious guests in his home. A similar mindset is what's expressed in Leviticus 23 when it comes to bringing in the harvest from the land. God, via Moses, told the people something quite counterintuitive, not to reap the very edges of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. Essentially, he said, leave a little behind. This instruction reminded the people that God was behind the harvest in the first place and that he used his people to provide for those of little account, the strangers in the land. Such thinking is definitely not the norm in our world. But it's exactly the kind of mindset that will characterize the grateful sons and daughters of God. He delights in a generous heart. And that often comes through you and me.